Hello ladies and gentlemen, Xcentaur here and welcome back to another YouTube video. Now before I start this video, I just want to let everyone know that the current videos I'm going to be recording for the next about week are all pre-recorded as I'm going away on a holiday and also celebrating my birthday. So these videos are currently pre-recorded, just so everyone knows, but I'll try my best to reply to you all in the comment sections. And also if you're new here, feel free to like and subscribe. Now, today's YouTube video, we're going to be looking at some of the coolest airports in Infant Flight. Now, these aren't the best ones if you're looking for routes or anything, but these are some of the airports which I think are the coolest in Infant Flight. Now, let's get straight into this YouTube video. Now, as you can tell, the first airport we're at is at Abu Dhabi International Airport. Its ICAO code is OMAA, uh, Oscar Mike Alpha Alpha. Um, and I will leave um, in the description the ICAO code to all of the airports in this list in order um, as they're shown or I'll try my best to get it correct. Now this airport, Abu Dhabi International Airport, I think is probably one of the coolest airports in Fit Flight. My main reason for this is that Fit Flight, well for a fact the airport's design in general is brilliant. Okay, So we'll just go up a little bit and hopefully my free mode camera will allow this to happen. It's a little bit weird today. But look at that terminal. I think the shape of this terminal building in itself, I think it's something which is really, really cool. And the control tower right there has a really cool quirky shape. And I think that's something which is quite interesting for me. Um, I definitely appreciate the airport's infant flight. Just look at how quirky that is. I think it's a really cool shape. Um, if you do agree, let me know. Um, but I think this airport in general is one of the coolest airports in Fifth Flight. And of course, I've never been here, but I've always wanted to go to Abu Dhabi. Um, and I think it's, it seems rather realistic down here. Um, I'm not too sure about the, this bit here next to the jetways, whether that's what it's actually like or not, but I don't actually know. Um, but clearly, it is of size to accommodate for these larger aircraft. So just having a look at them, look at that terminal building. I think that is a magnificent building. Um, and it is of class. Just look at how amazing this airport looks uh, from a higher viewpoint. So if I just try and zoom out, just look at that. That's phenomenal, if you ask me. Um, so, yeah, this is the first airport on my list. I've got five airports lined up for you. And this is Abu Dhabi International Airport. So now we're going to move on to the second airport on my list. Okay, so we are now at that second airport. And I'm going to zoom out and see if any of you can guess it. And I think the detail into this airport is something else. It's like of its own breed. Um, so we're coastal and we're in the United States. So just pause the video if you want to have a little look and think. Um, but this airport is my Ami International Airport. Now, somebody in my Discord server, um, I was asking a little earlier, a couple of days ago, actually, on Saturday, I asked what people's favorite airport was in Infinite Flight. And someone said Miami, which is their hometown airport, was their favorite. And I was like, do you know what? I'll give it a little look in Infant Flight. I haven't actually looked at it previously or flown there. And wow, I thought the detail in this airport was brilliant. So the little footbridge thing over here, um, if I can get here low enough. So I'd imagine there's a train or something which runs across to this little bit of the terminal. It might just be a footpath, who knows? But I think the detail in this airport in Infinite Flight is just a new level. So you've got the buildings up here in general. And I have had to have a look at some live photos, of course. Well, not live, but actual photos of the airport. And I think the detail in this airport is really good. Personally, I think it's one of the best details we've got um, of infinite flight airports. Now, of course, Miami is sort of a funky airport. with There's four runways and just you see the runway there just crossing across the whole um, other two runways. So I think it's a bit funky. I think it's cool. But I think the main terminal building, there's been a lot of detail paid attention to it. And it looks like a tricky one to build as well. So whoever um, was part of building this airport did a good job. As always, most of the Infant Flight development team do a very good job in building their airports. So I think this airport deserves a special bit of credit. Miami International Airport. Kilo Mike Indigo Alpha. No, Kilo Mike India Alpha, sorry, is the ICAO code of this airport. And I think it's pretty cool, okay? So if you don't think this airport's cool, let me know why. Um, but yeah, we're going to move on to the second, no, the third airport on this list. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're at airport number three on my list of five. And this airport is a cliche edit, okay? Most of you will be able to recognise it, or those of you who play pro, 
I even think this airport's on non-pro, so I've included the non-pro airport fuel as well. Um, and yeah, so we're just gonna, I'm just gonna show you all the main thing that tipped me. So of course, the terminal buildings were a bit laggy for some reason. The detail into the individual terminal buildings, getting in their individual character shapes, as you can see where I'm showing you. Um, the infant flight livery on the 787 as well. It, sh it should have been in all of the airport videos which I've used. And we have frozen. Sorry, my iPad's playing up. But look here. So the detail on all of these individual buildings, it's just really good. And I think to get them their individual shape, I think this Los Angeles is a really cool airport in infinite flight. And that's what this video is about, cool airports and infant flights. Let's just go have a look um, at the buildings over here as well. Infant flight, or the obviously the airport editors, who are mainly volunteers as well, just to know that out, quite a few of these airport editors are volunteers. Um, I don't know what that building is. If anyone can let me know what that building there is. Um, I know it's like a hospital. It looks like it might be a hotel or something. Um, but let me know what that is. I think just the detail in this airport is really cool. And we're going over to one of my favourite locations now in Infinite Flight. If we um, can reach there. We're just going to zoom across very quickly. Um, or very slowly. And this is, I think someone called it, it's a take and go or an in and out. That sounds about right. Unfortunately, the cars aren't loading. But, oh, is it going to load? Doesn't look like they want to load. But normally there's a plane spotter and a car here. And it's re it's a really, really cool um, photo. So I definitely recommend having a look at it. It's in my InfoFlate Easter eggs video. So I'm sure quite a few of you might have seen that. And But go check it out because I show you that place there where it's actually loaded in. Um, now Los Angeles does have some issues where it doesn't always load in or it's a bit laggy like it is for me right now. But I'd imagine the InfoFlate development team are well aware of it and are always working on it to um, you know ensure that the flight simulation is as good as it can be. So I think Los Angeles deserves a place on this list. So we're now going to move on to the fourth place on this list. Okay, so we're at location number four here. And I think it's very recognisable when I just turn to show you the runways here. Now, I've actually been to this airport. I've been lucky enough to go to this part of the world and see this airport for itself. So, of course, we've got the domestic terminal over here, which, of course, I've used as well alongside the international terminal and we are also at Sydney International Airport, YSSY, -Y, uh, Yankee, Sierra, Sierra, Yankee. Um, again, I'll leave it all down in the description for you to go check out. Now, I'm pretty sure this is for non-pro people as well. Um, and I did check, and last time I checked, I'm pretty sure it was available for you non-pro users. So you should all be able to have a look at it. And my favourite bit of this airport that makes it cool in real life hotel. Now my iPad keeps glitching, I'm really sorry for that. Now look at it, that control tower is to die for. I think that Infinite Flight have done a really good job at just replicating its amazing shape, style, originality and everything. And I think they've done a phenomenal job at doing that, okay? So that's one of the main reasons keeping me going for putting Sydney on this list. Now this list is in no particular order. Um, of course, I think Miami's quite up there near the top, above Sydney, of course. I think the general shape of the terminal building, they've, they've done a good job as well. Yet again, they've done a very good job here. The Infant Flight Development Team or Airport Building Editing Team, I think they call themselves. Um, and I think they've done a brilliant job here yet again uh, to show, show some credit. Now, I know I'm only showing the major airports. Now, there are some smaller airports in for flight which are amazing in 3D and maybe I'll do a separate video towards the small 3D airports for you if you'd like. Uh, just let me know down below and I'll see what I can do for you all. But I think all in all they've done a good job. Now I'm not too sure but it looks like there should be some taxi gates here or jetways which aren't there so maybe it's still in editing or I'm being stupid. Or it's just not loaded in because my iPad's being a bit stupid. I think that's the likely cause. Um, because for some reason my iPad isn't loading stuff in tonight. Um, but yeah, so that's Sydney Airport. And we're going to move on to the final airport in this list. Which I think has got some pretty cool stuff which InfoFlight have done to keep it as realistic as possible. So let's move on. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we're at the fifth and final airport. Now this airport is Frankfurt Airport. I'm pretty sure it's Frankfurt Airport. Uh, EDDF I believe. Um, Echo Delta Delta Foxtrot. Now for a start we should look at this control tower. It's a very basic control tower but I think it looks original and it looks good and they've done a good job at replicating it. Okay, So we're going to go straight over to terminal buildings 
which aren't the main thing which have listed this airport this high up on my bid into my top five. Now, I'm not too sure what my iPad is playing at today. I'm going to have to restart it before I can even record another video. But look, I think when we look in general here, the InfoFlight development team again, or InfoFlight airport editing team, sorry, have done a good job yet again at replicating the realistic you know variables of a 3d airport now frankfurt airport in real life i believe is currently under construction of a new third terminal now we've got to locate it for me to show it to you all and i think it's down here now what the flight editing team have done which i think is quite cool and quite smart um right this isn't it if i can locate it i can show you all it's very smart what they've done. Ah, oh, it's over there, right. So what the InfoFlight ed um, editing team have actually done here is they've constructed the like building stages of this new third terminal. So you can see, uh, when I first saw it, I was like, why is there all this stuff sticking out of the ground? But like, you can actually see, like, look where they're like building the new terminal, but they're building it in InfoFlight. Like, they've built it to show it's being built but in real life and this is what it like sort of looks like in real life at the moment just lots of random pillars from construction and then it looks like this is meant to be a control tower in real life from what i can make out or like a little spotting view um from that building there and i think in general just look at they've done a really good job here so if anyone knows of the frankfurt airport the new terminal they're building and you've seen photos of it it looks like this at the moment and it they've done a a pretty good job you know You've got to take your hat off to them they've done a fabulous job um at replicating the uh, realistic scenario of how the airport actually looks so huge credit to whoever did this and whoever's great idea it was to instead of leaving this as blank land to actually try and build this because i can imagine the time and effort to build this because they're gonna have to take it like destroy it and then build on top of it for the next thing they build here, which will hopefully be either a completed terminal or further, you know, construction stages. So I think that's a really cool thing they've done here, which is why I think it deserves a place on this top five list. OK, so if you um, like these airports, let me know down below. But that's it for today's video. So if you did enjoy this video, please make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you again in my next YouTube video. Good night. Find your way.